wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. Got an exciting one for you here today. This one, we're revisiting Mortart. This time with the Carapace a bit leader ability, which works really well. We have one extra provision from the Arrakis Swarm ability used to give us, which worked well, uh, particularly for setting up your ethereal, but I've made uh, a few substantial changes to this list, and I think it works even better than last time, dare I say. So we'll run through it, but obviously we're going to set up a massive Mortart. Now, this is a meme, of course. It's going to be vulnerable to a sneaky Erden or tall removal if you don't have protection online but uh, otherwise it's going to be a hell of a finisher so obviously with Mortart we want a lot of units in the graveyard and that's what this deck does no doubt about that so we got magic lamp of course because it provides a body so it's the perfect stratagem we got haunt now why haunt I hear you ask that's not a unit but with its prologue it's chapter one chapter two it tells an entire story that gives you three units for that future graveyard so obviously you play it it'll get your desert banshee which uh even if your haunt is destroyed that's uh that's a unit anyway and the desert banshee can trigger your two foglets so if we got two foglets here excellent thinning get those bodies in the graveyard a neuromancy here Ideally play it twice, get whatever it is you need. This deck thins really well as well, so particularly with the Neuromancy and the thinning, you shouldn't have a problem finding what you need. Uh, we got Gascon, Iron Falcon. It creates two bodies for you, and in a pinch, it can get you what you need. It could get your Bomb Heaver, destroy an artifact. It could get you movement. Um, it could even... Um, destroy the armor of an enemy Igern or something for example it's uh, it's got me out of a couple of pinches let me say that uh, we got Roach and Knickers here for thinning tempo get them in the graveyard uh, we have a cave troll defender we want this online to protect that Mortart, and we can create two of them with your Caranthir. Caranthir here of course because again it creates another body but Ideally, you want your Caranthir final round just to create some extra protection. Uh, get another Cave Troll online if you can. Um, ethereal. Uh, with Ethereal, to set up Ethereal, we have two Night Wraiths here because they, they spawn the two rats which Ethereal can eat up. And with Haunt, chapter 2 you get another night wraith so they're really good for your ethereal as well as your two arrakis nests so you shouldn't have a problem setting up one strength bodies for your ethereal to eat up and once you've got a few of them online and maybe even a few rats or drones they're all doomed see that's why we've got my boy Siegfried of Danel purify all other units now this uh, this guy it's worth putting in your deck just for the effect alone. When you purify the whole board, it's a great effect, visual effect. Um, but yeah, he'll get rid of all those doomed units. Get them in your graveyard to eat up later. Okay. Um, operator here. Ideally, with this, you want to copy your Kickamore Warriors. Because these guys, when they eat up a unit or destroy an allied unit creates another one of these guys and nothing's doomed that they they'll all end up in your graveyard and your opponent usually won't find value for the kicker more warrior that you give them but otherwise you could use operator on your um, caravan vanguards so you can set up bonded um, yeah both works well but yeah these guys are here obviously because on the range to row it creates two bodies and if you can trigger that bonded, it's really good value as well. Wild Hunt Riders, Tempo, Thinning, get those guys in the graveyard. Got one in Drager Lava, creates two bodies and it's a good engine. Um, your Ruckus Nests, 
your Foglets, your Warriors, your Knight Wraiths. And we've got one Iron Falcon Troubadour here. It was a Necker, because that created two bodies, and it was an engine. But I found it's too easily taken care of and too low tempo. But the Troubadour can provide crucial extra protection for your Mauntart. Because if you're against Skelliger, and there's a longship online, you play your Mauntart, it's just going to get taken out as soon as it lands on the field. Never got a chance to live. But if you can give it a bit of armor with your Troubadour, you're laughing. Alright, so let's see how we do. Let's do it. Guys, little postscript for you. Didn't even uh, mention what we use the leader ability for. Now, obviously, you want to use one of these on your Mauntart. Extra protection. And the other one, usually on the one strength cave troll that we create with Karen Thier. That's what I us usually like to buff up, but depending how the matchups go, and you might want to protect one of your kicker more warriors or something like that. Anyhow, let's do it. Overwhelming hunger. Okay. Be a tricky matchup. Let's see what we got here. Alright, get rid of Roach, get rid of a Foglet. Um, no access to Haunt. Uh, this works well with this. And these work well with this. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's just get these guys out. Oh, we can. Then, okay, Nick is. That's fine. Um, do we commit Ethereal this round? We do have Siegfried to purify them all. Might not be a bad play. Don't left. Sure. Alright, let's uh let's Arrakis nest it up. Then yeah, I think I think all Ethereal. It'd be good to take this round. Then we could operate a uh, onto the Kickamore Warrior. It may help out a deck such as this, but it would mean if it survives we could uh, create some more copies. Anyway, that's ethereal here. Okay, Roach, wrong row, pal. But if we can, if we can get a kicker or warrior to stick, we can uh, just eat up this Roach and Nickers. I mean, these are these are two pretty big commitments. Yeah, I think let's see what he does, but I think we'll operate it onto Kick a more warrior. Sure. See if that survives. Probably not. He could kill it with an Arrakis Nest. He could kill it with the Phantom. He could even... Yeah, he could even use the Warrior to eat up the Vampire. Loses a little value. Well, not really. Not really. That worked out well for him. Uh, let's try the other one. If uh, if it dies, no big deal. It's not the end of the world if we lose Roach. Got some good points. Probably still want a Siegfried at some point. Okay, the question is, will he use his Phantom to kill this? 
No. Okay. Okay, well, uh, let's eat roach. And we'll put this down. That works. Then, uh, then yeah, we want to get these foglets out. Got some points here, though. Scary business. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Uh, yeah, um, we still want to put down Siegfried too. Can probably get away with it. Don't do that. Well, get out of it intact. He gains two here, so he could take the tie. Oh man, we lost a perfectly good Siegfried, man. Okay. Well, he's got all his leader charges. We don't have a huge graveyard. Oh, that's decent. Okay, we do have Cave Troll and Mortart. Okay, Neuromancy. Um, put a Neuromancy onto Haunt or Caranthir. I think this is fine. Um, if he plays, uh, uh, what's her face? Ooh, let's guess gone. We might just get lucky and get a bomb heaver. Let's try our luck. God damn it. Never. Never do, man. Okay. We go... To... Yeah, we'll just... Um... Well, a Neuromancy for Haunt, I think. Yeah, we Cave Troll, Mortart, finish with Night Wraith, trigger the Haunt. We'll see. But I'm not hopeful. Alright, let's Cave Troll. The only thing that could deal with it is like a Karathi Heat Wave. Um, okay, sweet. Got a, we got a decent-ish graveyard. 
Okay, let's put this down. I'm going to use both my leader charges on it. Uh, Maruna was the card I was thinking of. Um, yeah, because a Maruna could have stolen this, even with one leader charge. So, okay, we may have it. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Let's see. Let's do this first, because we can uh, eat something and put it in the graveyard. And then we'll eat this one. Oh my god. 25 point Mortart. Nothing to sneeze at. And, gee, after a terrible misplay by yours truly with uh, wasting that Siegfried. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We did it. Bloody well did it. Can we do it again? Lockdown. Okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, not a great hand. We can operate it onto Kikamore Warrior. Hope it survives, because that can activate our Foglets. Early in here, Mancy. Sure. Okay. Strong opening play. Could get lucky and, rem and get the one that removes armor. Hmm. Okay. That survives. Get our foglets out. <sighs> Got lucky there. Okay. Let's do this while we can. Good, good, good. Then we could put the other one down, if it survives. Got lucky again. Let's put this one down. Eat the two. Alright, so we got two of them going. And they're creating bodies to be eaten up later. Okay. 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 All right. So, do we bleed here? Hmm. Hmm. Haunt would be good. Ethereal would be good for a bleed. Um, okay. I reckon we commit Haunt. Activate both of them. Uh, I don't know if Siegfried's really going to... Oh no, Siegfried could purify the rats that all these create, actually. Yeah. 
So let's let's see if he can deal with the horns. So yeah, we haven't we haven't uh, got our riders. Bomb heaver. Yeah, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Well, we may as well take advantage of the Desert Banshee there. And I'm tempted to Siegfried. Purify these rats. That's four more juicy rats for our Mortart later on. Ooh, Ramon? Surely Ramon. Yeah. Okay, well, at least it's not double ball. Respect for that, sir. Yeah, it's Siegfried. The order brings succor and demands no pay for it. Okay. And then, yeah, I think... Yeah, let's get out of the round at this juncture. Got to bring poison to the party, don't you, pal? Hmm, could be masquerade ball still in the pipeline. Sure. Okay, so if we do play ethereal, if we get ethereal, could be locked. Neuromancy, good. Alright, so. We can a Neuromancy for Ethereal. Uh, that's probably our best bet here, right? Yes. Yep, that's our game plan. Alright, let's do this. Then we get Ethereal going. Then we can put the Warrior, kick him more Warrior down and hope that it survives. Because this is a solution to the lockage of an Ethereal. Um, yeah, but this this is looking okay, because we can Karen Thier on Cave Troll, then Cave Troll, Mortart. Our last play is probably just going to be this Caravan Vanguard. Maybe the Night Wraith. Let's see if he's got any locks up his sleeve. You bloody bastard guy. Sure. Um, let's see if the wa Kickamore Warrior survives. I mean, I could have protected it a bit with one defender, but it really is crucial to have as much protection as possible for Mortart. The warrior can do good work for us, but it's not the end of the world if he's uh, taken out of commission. So he could kill this with that. No? Okay. That's not really worth it, dude. I mean, you're still giving me one one here. Um, so, we are going to eat up this Roderick. Because I don't want that getting coup de grad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so our last play is going to be this Vanguard. We'll 
We'll probably Gascon next. Poison. Good. Still, we don't have any super tall units here. So that's not a problem. Um, let's guess go. <laughs> Movement's not really that handy. Ah, we'll just go with this guy. And we'll play it down here, actually. It's an extra one strength unit. That works out rather spectacularly. Sure. Not a problem. Okay. Um, yeah. So, obviously, yeah, we don't have our leader ability, but, uh... Hopefully, that's okay. There could be a Vincent in the works. We did it. Didn't get to pull off the final combo piece, but it would have been fairly chunky. Alright guys, it is quite late in the evening here, so I'm uh, going to call it a night. But yeah, look, we got to pull off a pretty chunky one in the first game. And that one would have been yeah, damn chunky. Wish he'd let us uh, play it out. But uh, look, yeah, why don't you try it yourself? Um, look, it's a meme. You're not gonna uh, you're not gonna take over the world with this one. But um, it's fun, and when you can pull it off, good times. Anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, see ya. Thank you for watching.